All right, gang, last take. It's turning into crunch time on this deer season thing. It's uh, mid-November. I haven't got a morsel. I'm normally done by the end of November, Thanksgiving-ish, and um, ain't happening. It's just going to be one of them years where I have to hunt till fucking Christmas. But uh, this cold thing, the sniffles and itchy runny is turning into a rib cage, sore bones, hurting ass, just a bastard. So I got to medicate that this week, maybe be in the woods next week and get something to show y'all some hair on the ground. Uh, taking this afternoon, it's supposed to be nice all week up in the 60s. Uh, good, good dry days. I'm going to air everything out and I was airing it out and I was like, you know, some of the younger viewers might fall into the trap of uh, having to buy everything from Bass Pro and Cabela's and all them big box stores. When you're starting out, you don't have a whole and lot of money. If you like me, you still don't have a whole lot of money. Uh, some of my gear come from Army Surplus stores, uh, Walmart, uh, hardware stores, thrift stores, hand-me-downs. Um, there's some things you can't skimp on and some things you don't want to wear after somebody else. Your boots and gloves and stuff. Kind of stick to the better better quality shit there. Get as good as you can afford. Try it out. I had a pair of Walmart boots that lasted a good two seasons. They were warm as hell. Uh, read up on that Thensolate rating and uh, see what you can do with that. Um, I got some Thensolate shit. I got a lot of wool from military surplus stores, and uh, anyway, this video is just going to be covering the camouflage aspect of the deal. Don't think you have to match. The deer don't care. The, the, the ducks, they got pretty good eyesight. Turkeys got pretty good eyesight. You're going to want to pay attention to your stuff there, but deer, they don't care. Um, scent control is one thing. And what I'm trying to do here is air out a bunch of things that's been stored in plastic totes in my shed. And uh, I'm going to come out here all week long and just rustle them up, let them get some fresh air, rotate the bottom to the top and side to side and, and flip them and let them get some sun on them and air them out. And uh, I'll smoke them as I go along. But uh, sorry this morning's hunt was a bust. I can show y'all a couple of clips of my watch in the woods if you want to see them. But uh, I don't think that's what you're in here for. I did take the shotgun this morning. I apologize for not following through on the muzzleloader challenge. I got to get some meat in the freezer, and then I'm going to probably fall back and grab one of those. Uh, my propellant that I'm using is out of date, and um, I don't want to wing no deer. Uh, it's too hard to come by. So... Uh, don't hold that against me. Anyway, we're going to air this shit out and give it hell next weekend. Y'all like, share, subscribe, comment. This is Mo Dammit. Tire Creek Ironworks out.